Yeah. Welcome back, Random TV Review, your girl Linda. And it's your boy, Stanley. We back, baby. Listen, come on in, y'all. Come hey, on we in. We back. Come we on back. In. Let give me a hug. I ain't <laughs> seen y'all since last year. Yeah. Literally. But anyway, I hope you all had a great Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, all of that good and stuff. A happy New Year. Cause we back, God doing it. Yeah, we back. 20, 2018, <sighs> 2018, however you want to put it, we here. We here. We made it, y'all. We here. We made it 12 months. Yeah, we still breathing. And we still, still got, we still got, got Trump in the house, though. Lord have mercy. And he don't even know the national anthem. But anywho. Oh, before we get started, y'all go over to James Colwell's um, channel when he puts his video up. Today is his freaking birthday. And for his birthday, I'm going to send him an AARP card. <laughs> and I'm going to send him a little one of those little tickets so that when he goes to IHOP, he'll be able to take advantage of his 10 or 15% senior discount. Hey. And tell him that I said so. Hey. Nah, that's my buddy right there. Yes, sir. But happy birthday, that's James. That's right there. Happy birthday. Hope you win. I know you at bingo. That's why I, I don't right. know. I was on live earlier. So I hope you win some big money. And if you yeah. do, just tie into a player. You know. <laughs> just, you know. Just. <laughs> so have a have nice. I will say this. That hopefully Tyler is setting us up for a great season. Because <sighs> this was typical Tyler. Yeah. I will say on tomorrow. Don't y'all get y'all hopes up. But I will watch. If loving you is wrong tomorrow. Yeah, we'll watch. We will watch. I will see if I feel like they're back on the right train. And if so, we may come through with a video. It will not be tomorrow. It'll be definitely. Thursday. It will yeah, definitely they be come Thursday. on 10 o'clock. Y'all know we don't do the 10 o'clocks no more. No. Say so players gotta work. And I'm also gonna check out 911, which I've kind of been peeking at it when it came on the first time. And um yeah, we'll just go from there. No promises, but, you know, y'all say a quick little prayer. Y'all won't see us doing them things tomorrow because that's probably what it's going to take. Because, <laughs> let me tell y'all, quick, before we get into this, we got so comfortable not doing freaking reviews. Yeah, man. I know. got so lazy. I get to go to bed uh -huh, early. Uh -huh, yep. We get to do some things with each other through the week that we ain't been doing for a while because yes, we've been uh, talking to y'all. So, yeah, love for y'all brought us back. <laughs> 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 For real. All right, so let's get into it. Have a have not afraid, afraid of the flames. flames. And I was like, okay, so when we gonna get to Demonica being in this car? Cause we know she didn't die. We we yeah, knew that last time. She ain't gonna die. She's too important to the, the show. devil. Don't die. So we start off with we got Justin Timberlake. He's going down there to get Jeffrey out of the holding cell. Basically. He just wants to get a quick feel real quick, real quick. Justin done lost his everlasting mind. He don't know if he coming or going. At this point, he don't even give a fuck that he married. Don't he got kids? I think he does. I'm yeah. I mean, you don't yeah. think about your kids? Uh, nothing. I mean, nothing. Even Jeffrey thinking about his goddamn wife. Jeffrey said, listen, <laughs> were you in the same courtroom that I was yeah. in when my mama just played the tape of us? Get ready to get it in in the room. You should be at home trying to repair that right now. Him just the Timberlake said, that's going to be there when, when I, I get there. there. But right now, what's important is me and you. And I said, did y'all have one of those nights where the Henny was good and the Black and Mild was popping? Because that's the only thing that make you yearn and fiend for something like that. What, I mean, what or did the herbals or something. Some, something. Jeffrey did something right. He, they they had all they had the Trinity. They had to have a black and mild, some good weed and henny. That's the only thing that make you go crazy like that over the D. It's I don't know, but that did, he ain't even thinking about his job, his Nothing. family, nothing. He don't give a fuck. He made sure that the cameras in the room that they were in aren't even working. Yep, he unplugged them bad boys. First so, of all, so he could get a good feel. Yeah, first of all, what security room will let you go in and unplug all that booze skin anyway? But we ain't gonna say nothing about that. Right Over there at that FEMA jail in the <laughs> yeah. end. So, um, next thing we know, Mr. Justin Timberlake said something out of his mouth that made me and Jeffrey say, huh? He said, oh, we got that, B. Say. Jeffrey said, huh? I said, what huh? you mean? What you mean? He said, oh, I took care of it. Because she, she did it, and she got you in it. 
but I'm about to get you out of it. But in but the I'll, meantime, in between time. I already took care of it, player. Put your hands behind your back so I can take you back so that um they won't think nothing. And that's what he gets to basically basically more less than uh -huh. Jeff. Kiss them all on Nick. At that point he couldn't do nothing then. And then he said, I'm gonna call your dad and we're gonna take care of all of this. I says Here we go. I'm not mad that he doing something to Demonica or setting up or whatever. Oh yeah, that was perfect. That but was perfect. it's all for the benefit of you getting Jeffrey to yourself. Yep. And mm -hmm. okay. So now we got Hannah, and I said, well, Tyler, what you're not going to do is piss me off. And came right out the gate pissing us off. Came right. She okay. got his nice house. Not with well, not house. Condominium. A what's that, Ellen? Condominium. A what? Condo. Got done. <laughs> condo. Shoot. Got this nice condo. I think she, did she give her a maid too? No, nah, she didn't give her no maid. Well, she got this nice condo. 3,500 square feet probably. Four bedrooms, because Benny told us that. Mm -hmm. If you got four bedrooms, you got at least two and a half baths, maybe three. Nine out of ten, she bought three because she got the paper. Stainless steel. Motherfucking uh, appliances. O oatmeal cabinets. Granite countertops. Marble floors. And the only thing that this... I'm not going to call it what I want to call them. The only thing that I can say is this ungrateful... I've worked all my life. All my I, life I, I had to fight. I can't take nothing unless I work for it. I can't stay unless I can pay. So here we go. We're going to do this again, Hannah. Here we We're go. just starting off just like this. Here we so, go. He you ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't got no job. So Kathy played the card that she always plays on her. You don't want to stay for free. Come because work. you don't want nobody to think that, you know, you're taking a hand up. Come on, work for me. Well, I don't want to do... Well, shut the entire buck up. Now, this is the part that pisses me off all the way to hell. When she said, I wish that you had gave this to me a week earlier, Lil Quincy would still be alive. Fuck you. She been trying to get you a place to stay ever since the car went through your house. But you want to go and stay at the Motel 8 with the roaches and then move over there to the other Motel 8 with the roaches and then the freaking witch call them came over there and start shooting on you. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> I wish I took the blessing earlier. Don't want to hear it. That's some church folks. 2020 is hindsight, I'm telling you. Now you can see now. <laughs> Piss me off. Already. First episode, handled them pissed us all the way off. So while we're sitting there, I'm like, like I'm sitting there with them. I said, while we sitting there. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, while Hannah and um, Catherine are sitting there, Catherine gets a phone call. Well, it's Broderick. <laughs> Broderick down at the hotel <laughs> told Catherine, say, hey, your man down here. Yeah. That's... And his credit card don't decline. She laughing her tail off. She's like, oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, I said, what did you do? She said, child, I canceled all his right, cards. Right. And I'm about to go down there because I love to see him rattled. So she pushes her tail on down there to the hotel. Now we got Jim doing what Jim do, reminding everybody of who he is. You ain't nobody because your card ain't going through play. Yeah. So he talking about some, do you know who, who I, I am? am? Hey, Jim, you play that card everywhere you go. And the guy said, yes, I do. I know that you're, they looked at the card that said, Jim, Jim Cryer. And your card is being declined. So, I mean, basically what you, get your manager. Manager come around the corner, guess what? It brought you with his shade in our parts. He come around and he just as nasty as he could be. Uh -huh. Nice, nasty. Nice, nasty, smiling. And he said, well, do you know who owes this hotel? Me and my wife own 70% of this hotel and da 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 Catherine walked up behind us and said, that's a lie. That, that's not the truth right now. I own it. Not you. Not you. <laughs> and matter of fact, I want you to sign these papers. Yeah, the divorce papers so we can get this all done and taken care of. Jim says, Catherine, you, you forgot that you you killed um D.A. Salisbury State, right? And there's this thing called spousal privilege where I can't testify against you if we still married. So it'll be in your best interest that we stay married. She said, I don't give a fuck. And then she said, matter of fact, because I want you off my hands so goddamn bad, I give you two hundred and quarter mil down. Just to sign them papers. Just to sign the paper. I'm not even married to you and I'll sign them. <laughs> give me the money. Give me the papers. Uh, give me the papers. Give me the money, give me the papers. Do you know how much I could Man, I could flip that so many ways, man. Please so I could come off my job. 
pay Man. off some stuff. Hello. Go get some um some investments that's gonna yield some good freaking dividends every month. So then Broderick, he over there still being shady. Catherine, Mrs. Um Mrs. Cry, would you like for me to give your um husband a hotel room for the night? She said no. Nah. Nah. Matter of fact, call security to have him escort it out. She said you you wouldn't you wouldn't do you that. Wouldn't do she that. said to give me why that's why because she did ask for wise address. Give me wise address. address. <laughs> and he said over oh, there still trying to play games with her. I said, Catherine is not playing with you today. She got you by the corners. Yes, she do. I said, okay. Yeah, no old, old Benny living large now, huh? So now Benny, you know, he gets um Mitch came over there to vi um bit that Vi not visit. Visit Visit Benny. That was a lot to say in one word after ten o'clock. <laughs> Mitch came over to visit Benny, and Benny basically tells Mitch, tells Mitch Lay, player, I need to get back on my feet, need to make some money in the mm -hmm. streets. I found a truck, 45000 I don't know how I'm going to come up with the money, and the plan that I got ain't quite the plan I want to go with. So do you think it would be a problem for you to be able to go to your family and, and, get, and get, that, get, that, get, that get, that, get that money, bro? Miss said, you know how much interest you're going to pay on that? He said, uh. Now, when he said interest, I, said, I wouldn't I wouldn't calculate like, you know, 5%, 10%, 20% hours. that you pay, you know, you get, Ears, you know, long. No yeah, one. I'm thinking body parts. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and Mitch was too. Yeah. <laughs> he said, so, hey, he said, let me, let me put it to you this way. You know, I don't never want to owe my family nothing. Yeah, that's dirty money. Because if it go bad, ain't, bruh. Ain't nothing I can do for you, bruh. I can't do nothing about that. Yeah, you had you had to ask you had to ask the Lord to fight your back on that one. Cause Mitch can't do it. <laughs> so then Benny said, Well, if I can't come through and make good on my end of the bargain, do you think they will go after my family? Mitch said, Well, it's not like it's two million. It's just forty five thousand. So, so now they'll just come take, after you. They'll take your knees off, your leg, your baby toe so you can't walk. All that, all that gonna be gone. Now see, a lot of y'all probably can go ahead and identify with Benny. Benny identifies with somebody that I know that got the hustle mindset, but don't think about the consequences. They just, I appreciate the hustle, but you gotta think first, man. The consequences that come behind the decision you make to make the hustle happen. Hmm. So you risking your life to make the hustle happen and put your mama through all that booze, get all over again. And even Miss said, Miss said, you Your mama just yeah. knows Lil Quincy. Yeah. I'm trying to, st I'm ticket told you that my family would kill you. And, and I, you want to put her through that again? And I think Mitch is thinking of that, hey, we got to tow a whole lot of motherfucking trucks for you to pay back 45000 Hmm. Huh. And now the 10, they're going to probably put a deadline on it and say, we need this back by exit. So if they say six months, huh, that's a lot of calls, buddy. Hmm. A lot of calls. Mama Malone gonna come behind you like she did at that hospital. I'm having the baby. <laughs> it's about time for me to have my way. Hey. So, um, Benny was like, you know, we gonna make this happen, Captain. Told Hannah, say, hey, me and Mitch got to make a run. Told Mitch, say, hey, before we do what we gotta do, I need to go run by the hotel see my sister. Yeah. He goes around there to go see his sister. But sis already got a little hustle going on in the room. Got a victim on the line. She got a vanilla latte in the room shaking him down for some money. Because she, she about to turn a trick. That's what she do. That's what she know how That's to do. That's what she good at. So old boy was standing there ready to get into it. She said, hand me your wallet. I said, no, he wallet? said, No, he said, how much it's going to cost? Oh, yeah. She how said, much give me your wallet. How much Give me your wallet. So she takes the wallet, looks in the wallet, and she said, this all you got? I said, she counted that fast. He said, that's $1,800. She said, what, what the hell you want me to do with $1,800? Do you see this body? $1,800? I, I don't mean no harm. Ain't no puss in the world <laughs> worth $1,800. I said, well, Don Candace, well, can you just, can you just... Um, subtract some of the services you was gonna give him. Like if you was gonna play with, just, just, just yeah. don't do that part. I mean, we can subtract some stuff off of this to make it, but make, to fit it in your budget. Yeah. To fit the services into your budget, so you ain't got to do the, you ain't got to do the basket weaving and whatnot. Just, just, you know, would that take five hundred off? You know. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just went out there. Come on back over right. there. 
Like, come on back on in. We let that one back on in there. I was like, Candace, you can't fit that into your budget. She said, 18. And 18 went, so what was the can price? You, can you customize your packages? My God. But afterwards, we see what her plan was. Oh, yeah. She won't never going to give him no She won't going to give him nothing anyway. So, basically, she reminds old boy, listen. I'm about to take this money. And there's nothing that you can do about it because <laughs> you ain't supposed to be here. You're a corporate dude. Look at the um, tan on your wedding ring um, finger. You're married. And so I know, if and I I know you work up, hard to get to where you at. Yeah, so if I blow up the spot, you're, you're gonna done. Lose, yeah, you're going to lose all of it. And I'm still going to be good because I don't have anything to lose. That's what you always, you know, little wisdom nugget. Not that people should ever cheat. But I see some people doing the dumbest stuff. They cheat with people that don't have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Who does that? Yeah, nothing to lose. Like, you messed around with the chick over there that they the got. The chick that got like 10 kids on welfare. Matter of fact, she just played the last dude that she was with. And because she got a fat beard, you can't control yourself. And you got a wife and kids at home and you can't help yourself. And now she over there dangling your stuff in front of your face, and yep. you got to do everything. Everything she say. I've seen it happen. I work in corporate America. And God America. forbid if you get her pregnant, your life is over. I know somebody that, that works where I... Eh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She did it on purpose. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. And got pregnant so she can make that good money. Oh, yeah. Lock you in for... Like my mama said, you locked in for 18 years, player. More <laughs> than that. Well, at least 18 years. So, homeboy eventually left, but he left his Whole wallet whole with wallet. Candace. I said, pause. Do Candace look different to y'all? She definitely look different to me. I know she, she ain't was, pregnant no more. Uh, yeah, she's not but pregnant she, anymore. She, she but look her different. face looks different. And so does Erica's face looks different. I said, did y'all do something? They still look good, mm -hmm. but they do look different. So they as, might, might have been doing that hit cardio. No, it's the face. You know, face because <laughs> the face looks a little smaller. Is that what I no, said? it's just something different. It was they face a little smaller though. Everybody's smaller. Yeah. <laughs> it, Even David. David's small. Except for Benny. <laughs> Benny. Benny been on that muscle milk diet. Yeah. So, um, as the vanilla latte is leaving out of the hotel room, Benny is coming in. Benny says, so, so this is what we doing now? Sis, we back to turn the tricks. She said, this is what I know uh, how to do. Good. I got to do what I got to do to make this paper. He told her, said, listen, mommy got a house. Four bedrooms. Why don't you come and let's be a family? We all going through at the same time. He knew better than that. She said, I ain't got no family. My family was cremated. I said, oh, so you did cremate little Quincy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Really? But anyway. Well, that's, that's what happens when you ain't got no life insurance, man. <laughs> that's how to tell y'all. So, uh, Ben is just, you know, giving her the spin. <clears throat> Look, listen. I'll hold you down. I'll do this. It's going to be tight. Let you get a legit um, place. Oh, go back you know, to school. Go back, Do whatever you got to do. And Candace is looking at him like in utter disgust. Because mm -mm. you know she's still on one with her family. Oh, yeah. And Benny had to remind her, listen, Candace. All of this did start with you. It sure did. So you need to come up off of that right now. She said, you know what? It might start with me, but it's going to end, end with, with me. me too. I'm going to get even with everybody that did something to me. I said, well, here we go with this boo scale. All right, Candace, but I'm here for it because it brings the excitement. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what she say. good at. That's, mm, <laughs> I said, okay. So, did we see, um, what else did we see? Uh, da, 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 da. Quita. Why did we have to see Quita again? I'm just glad we didn't hear her talk. We didn't. We didn't hear her talk. But we seen her all up in that guy. Hey, they ATM machine. That's <laughs> it. I don't want to mess my camera up. Yeah, she don't even fun. know how to work the ATM. She... But on the other end of the camera, there's Oscar looking at her, talking yeah. about some, well, who is, who is this, this that we have here? And I'm like, well, why are you watching the camera? What is going on here? Yeah, who is are you he, waiting is on? Is he skimming, um, you know, the card numbers? I mean, yeah, the skimming, on? yeah. Well, before we could figure out what he was doing, the police roll up behind Quita and, and grab her. I said, okay. Well, that's about to go into a whole nother Speaking direction. Speaking of skimming, too. I was at the barber shop last week, and my barber told me this crazy story. Now, don't y'all go on and try this booze kit now. Oh, yeah. These jokers going to chase ATM machines. Three dudes. One dude be around the corner. The other dude, two dudes get behind the person that's in line getting their money out of the ATM machine. So when the ATM machine, you know, your money come out, they go beep, 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 beep. So when he go beep, 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 the person that's behind him, the dude will act like he passed out. And, of course, the dude at ATM will turn around and be like, you all right? 
So when he do that, the dude come from around the corner, snatch the money, he picked the other dude up like he all right, then they hit the spot and they gone. That's some bullshit. That's some. I said, if you got time to figure stuff out like that, you got time to figure out how to do a legit business, investments, or something. Oh, before I came over here, I was looking on my phone. Why a dude went over into Wegmans and stole your cousins? Because I don't claim them. When they hey, had Wegmans? Wegmans. Two black dudes. They ain't kidding to me. Went to Wegmans and stole $300 worth of crab meat. <laughs> you going to jail for some crab meat, player? Crab meat? That's just as bad. What is world coming to, man? I said, it's just as bad as chicken. You remember when they stole the chicken wings? Yeah. You going to jail? Oh, some crab meat. How when you get there, you know, in jail, you see on TV, they just be like, what you man, what you in for, man? They gonna make up, they gonna make up something. They I kill somebody. Say, we robbed Wegmans, man. We took everything they had. What you get? And, they, and then they're gonna, they gonna be on Facebook in jail looking like, hey, no. Them ninjas in here from stealing crab meat. Yeah. Because we got it here. Out here we have the gotcha paper. Mm hmm Where, where whatever you do, they got your mugshot and they put gotcha on it. And I mean, it be lined up. That be like the running joke at work. Be like, who in the gotcha paper this now, week? Uh-huh. Some of our co-workers be up in there. So, um, so don't y'all be going stealing no crab meat and, and robbing people at ATM that like you passing out. Mm -mm. So did we see um Anna and Wyatt? There, you remember we saw them at the park last. I think summer. I'm kind of sick of them right now. I'm sick of Wyatt. Why he just didn't stay dead? <laughs> he was dead for a whole freaking season, and we didn't miss him. And we, he's alive now, and we don't miss him now. Now I can say he brought up a. a, a this was a good part about when he got triggered. Yeah, he got when, triggered when he saw um what the name Prince Father Father Connor, Connor that Connor. that he thought was dead. Yeah, so he saw him in the park. And I actually thought he just saw a priest and got triggered. And got, he saw the, the priest, priest yeah, and the got priest. triggered. So he was able to get Anna to take him back home. And Anna was like, you know, what was going on? And he basically told about how he was molested, you know, mm -hmm. step by step, what he did. Then we see Anna over there just crying her little heart out. And I'm like, he was like, you ain't supposed to be getting emotional. Hey, you know what's going on? None of my other cancer did like that. And she said, that. my aunt. And I was like, uh -huh. I was waiting for her to say maybe my aunt's boyfriend, my aunt's husband. But she, she just said, said my, my aunt. aunt, and I was like, "Oh, skit!" So she went through something too. So you know what? You know how people do. You you bond over your over your skit. Mm -hmm. So now they why he wants to get, get high. Yeah, he want to get high. He said, "So do you want to get she high said, now?" We can get high now. She said, "No, no, no. We're not about to do that." But what you can do is give me some of that D. Uh -huh. So that's what they basically did. That's what happened. They're going to yeah. start smashing. I said, this is not what we want. I knew it was coming. It was building, man. It was building. And we don't trust Anna because you remember Oscar approached her. Y'all be so did. So we don't know what way she's coming. But at this point, I don't care what she do to Wyatt. Yeah. I, I really don't. Um, What else happened? Oh, shoot. Let me look at my notes. So David, my boy. Yeah. He don't squeeze his tail into that G wagon. I like the little G wagon though. That chunk mm -hmm. is tight. I was like, "What in the hell is they going?" They pull up in front of this nice house. Nice house. Open the door and it's empty. I said, "He said, uh, yeah, I bought this place after our house caught on fire. You know, my wife set the house on fire, and uh, I thought we would move in, but uh, things didn't work out that way. So uh, I was thinking that uh." Me and you can go ahead and move on in here. I just I just need to hear the two words. The boyfriend's name. <laughs> and she was like, that I can't mm -mm. do. He I tried said, to get it out of her though. I said, well, I thought he was gonna say, all I want you to do is say yes. And I said, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, she said, nope, can't do it. And um, mm -hmm. if I move in here, basically I'm gonna need clothes. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need mm -hmm. everything for sure. Everything. He said, oh, that's, that's oh, easy. Oh, that ain't a problem. I got that. We can get a whole new wardrobe. So I said, she look, she got to say yes to the address uh -huh. and give me the name of the ex. <laughs> I said, well, the ex is Candace. That's who beat her up. Uh-huh. So how you want to handle that? And Ward, he did. And him dead. Him dead. I don't, do she, she don't even know he did, do she? Yeah, she know he did. She, know she was dead. dead. That's right, she was there. Underneath that table hiding. <laughs> So at the same time, when he's um, showing Erica around the house, Jim Cry shows up. So how you know where he how was How you gonna live at? Because he said, oh, so this is a new house. I thought maybe they did the deal together. They went to the real estate because, you know, they do everything together. Yeah, like a married couple. Yeah, so I thought he was doing the, you know, helping with the deal. He come, oh, so this is a new place. 
Okay. Okay. He said, well, show me around. David said, right now ain't a good time. I got my uh, lady friend here. Yeah. David, um, Jim said, oh, well, well, you know, introduce me to her. David said, this ain't the time or nah. the place, but in time, you will get to meet her. I yeah. think, I think Jim know who, um, uh, Erker is. You think I so? I think he does too. I'm not, I don't remember, whatever. Cause I think she was in hiding. Yeah, cause yeah. you hear all that coming out, a nosy black woman would be like, hey, hey how you doing? How you doing? My name's Lynette. Nice to meet you. So, uh, Jim go, I said, where did, I need friends like this. Hey, hey, I, I, I need your credit, credit card. card. What? Huh? What? I said, it's just like on that blubber you was wrong. He's, give, hey, give me your credit card. Yeah. Oh, I need your credit card. I need you to book the hotel down for the room because Catherine canceled all my god darn credit cards and I ain't got no more money. <laughs> and put it in your name. And put it in your name. Because I don't need her coming around right and getting me put out of a hotel. I said, well, God, don't. I need, yeah, I need one of them players. I need a whole bunch of them players. I just need one. Uh -uh. That's all, just one. Uh-uh, because. That's all Jim need. This is one, so all <laughs> I need is one. I need one credit card. So then after they finally sealed the deal, I'm, okay, we're going to, this is what we're going to do with the credit card in the hotel. We're going to get that squared away. Hey, you talk to Rose? Nah, you talk to Rose? Nah. Rose still a bucket with them. Ain't answering none of their phone calls or nothing. So David said, listen, I think the only way we're going to be able to get in Rose's good graces, we're going to have to um, go through Benny. Um, Hannah's son said, what? Like, what? I said, him and uh, Mitch, you know, her grandson is like real close. I don't know how you're going to do that because said, what the fuck? because David beefing with Benny too. Yeah. So yeah. how are you going to do that? What Did you forget do? when you cut it phone call, phones off? <laughs> Black people don't forget stuff like that. When you owe them money, uh -huh. when you mess with their food, and when you mess with their phones. We don't mm -hmm. forget that. Nope. You remember that time you when you drove my car, you put up gas in it? I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> you remember the last time I loaned you that five dollars with the convenience store? And you had no money for for potato chips and the soda. You ain't never gave me that money back. Uh -uh. So until you make that right, you ain't gonna want here. Now you gotta mm -hmm. say, and, and Benny from the hood too. So then when we get to the final part that we've been waiting for, I said I know they're not gonna go this whole episode and not show this. We see Melissa, though, climbed herself out of the wreckage. But Miss Demonica is stuck. Oh, it looks like she's stuck on the seatbelt. And she hanging Melissa. upside down. Help me. And Melissa sitting over there just psycho and, <laughs> and just laughing at her tail. <laughs> Ooh, she I said, smell some, I smell gas. She said, why, well, you know, why is the devil afraid of the flames? <laughs> I said, okay. You know, good you know what's going to happen. She's going to get loose and then she's going to make Melissa's life a even more of a living hell. Yep. Because now you thought that you could torture me and leave me for dead. What's going to end up happening probably is the police going to show up and get her out there. Yeah. Or police somebody department going to mm -hmm. show up. Somebody seen on the roof. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what's going to happen. But that's about it. I, I hope this is a builder. I'm, 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 th I'm, I'm thinking it's, it is, it's, it's, the, it's picking back off in the middle of the season. So we can't go too high yet. Yeah. Yeah. But um, next week we're going to see um, Jim in the bed. With, uh, it looked like a prostitute. I, I don't know who that was. And who so, walked in there. Yeah, but we we, we getting bad B. Candace back, I think. Yeah. She so, firing back up on all cylinders because she was cylinders. dumbed down. Yeah. Now it's time to get her back on get her back on that uh, that high horse and start taking some ninjas down. Yeah. So y'all make sure y'all go over to the other family members that review this show and yeah. show them love and support. I know James said he's going to be doing it. I know Lady Nika usually does this show. Might be kinda when he's not mad with um, Rob. Yeah. So, now he um, might review it when he see you know she trapped in that in that in that car get ready yeah. to burn up. So yeah, he might come and talk. Romy about that. might do it. Raymond he might do it. Um, the Kenneths they usually <clears throat> do these shows. Um, of course Ashley does this show. If you are in listening to this and you do the show, shout yourself out down in the comments, and we will see you all next week or tomorrow or Thursday. We don't know. Straight from the BA. The dirty, dirty seal. Holla.